Hey Glam Fam, Linwood here, and today I'm going to show you how to do finger waves on this mannequin here. Now, as you can see, this hair has already been wet down. Proper finger waves are a wet hairstyle, so that is going to be done on, of course, wet hair, not damp wet okay so we already have it wet down and i have it thoroughly detangled of course with my denman brush if you guys have watched any of my other videos you know how i feel about my denman i do have a bit of leave-in conditioner in this hair my leave-in of choice for this video was the conditioner by paul mitchell i know their names aren't creative but their products are good and i've got a little bit of a watered down hair gel in there although honestly i prefer a foaming wrap mixed with a setting lotion just to get the right consistency for slickness and for hold in that hair it's all up to you in terms of what you want to do there if you're going to use a gel you should probably water it down okay so let's touch some of the basics before we actually get into the waving you're going to need an all-purpose comb like this baby here. And so I've got my coarse side and my fine side. I'm going to be using the coarse side for majority of it. The fine side is really only for detail work. Now when you're doing it, you wanna stay away from the corner. You're going to use the body of the comb. So do not use the corner to carve. We're using the body of the comb for shaping, okay? I'm going to be using primarily my middle finger and my index finger. My middle finger is going to hold my C shaping in place or my wave in place my index finger is for pinching the ridge of the wave okay so i know that's probably a little weird but when i go through it here in just a moment i'll kind of explain it to you so i'm going to start off by combing this hair back and you can see why it pays to have some of that leave-in in there and a product that has a bit of slickness so you can easily comb through this hair when it's wet i'm going to begin by combing in the shape of a c and every time that i do that i'm going to come around in the middle of that c i'm going to hold with my middle finger just like so. So I'm gonna actually start off on this right side and I'll work my way over to the left. So I'm gonna start off with the body of the comb, keep in mind the corner is not touching the head. If I'm doing this, I'm gonna create part lines and it's quite uncomfortable to your client. So use the body, comb in that C shaping. And once you've got that middle finger down in the middle of that C, take your comb and just slide it over. Slide it over about half an inch to an inch and lay that comb down. See that ridge that's right there? We're gonna pinch that with the index finger and then we're gonna turn our comb again and comb out of the hair. Then I'm just gonna move over and add in a little bit more and comb that out. Slide it over, lay that comb down, pinch, comb out. Now anytime that I need to go in and do some detail work, I can. If I'm noticing that hair doesn't quite wanna lay like I need it to, I can then go in with my fine side of the comb just push right underneath that ridge, pinch the ridge again and comb out. And what that will do is help to make those hairs underneath lie down. So it just kind of gives a bit more control. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and move it all the way across like so. And once I have gotten over here, instead of me going back to the right side, I'm actually just going to drop down. So I'm going to move my middle finger into that next ridge or into the next wave, I apologize. Then I'm just going to go ahead and begin to slide over to the left, lay my comb down, pinch, and comb out. Slide to the left, lay the comb down, pinch, comb out. Slide left, lay the comb down, pinch, comb out. So eventually it gets to where you can do this rather quickly because you kind of develop a rhythm to how you're doing it. Now I see some people where they prefer to uh, do like a little bit on uh, one section and then try to go in later and add into the hair. I really prefer to do one solid wave all the way across the head. It just makes it easier to make the entire style more seamless. Hopefully you guys are kind of seeing how this wave is shaping up now. Looking at those ridges there. Now, of course, some people do this with two combs, and I can show you that at a later time, but this is just a standard finger wave, which, of course, since it's a standard wave, it's done with your fingers. Now, you want to make sure, see, I'm just moving that hair over about an inch at the most. I don't want to do one of these numbers. I'm going to end up with, like, a really long straight piece and a ton of part lines. My hairstyle should look like 
an independent wave and not look like uh, a ton of part lines in that head of hair. So I just wanna continue to move that hair right on over and lay it down, making sure I'm pinching the ridge just like so as I go right along. Making sure that, of course, your product that you have has to have enough hold to it. And I can see where like in some areas I could really stand to add a little bit more gel. It helps out with the control that you get over that hair. So yeah, my phone is going off. My silly stuff, I got to put it on vibrate, but that's okay, y'all just ignore that. I'm super popular this morning. <laughs> All right, so moving back along, and this will probably be my last row. But hopefully this way you guys can at least get a, a general idea of how to do these. In case you're wondering, yes, I select a light color mannequin because it just shows up better on film. And I wanna make sure that not only are you getting the principles of it down, but that you can easily see what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Slide it over, lay it down, pinch, and comb out. Just like so, and we just continue that all the way throughout the head. So I'll go ahead and lean this back so you can see these waves. That's what we are looking for. So when you comb this out later, it leaves you with a beautiful wave set. And before you know it, you've got clients coming to you like, oh my gosh, how can you make me look like I'm from the 40s and you know, retro era and the 20s and all that loveliness, it's great. So uh, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think in the comment box below. And until next time, take care, God bless, and stay glam. Bye-bye, you guys.